is basically bags out of t-shirts where we're basically what we're trying is we're trying to encourage and promote sustainability and sustainable living so this is basically just a project of upcycling there are many DIYs you can do this section over here is um, our thrift store I guess it's not really a thrift store since you're not really like buying anything most of these are just for free um, so basically our intent for this was like J.O. and like East Van here they have like, like their income is a lot lower than the rest of the districts. Um, so what we were trying to do is we were trying to promote, like we're trying to make it accessible for everyone to be able to afford clothes and get clothes close by. Um, so everything's free of charge and it's, it's just a store. Hi, my name is Alicia Parashar and I am a teacher at John Oliver Secondary School and I teach business education. Uh, one thing we're trying to work on in the business education department uh, is ways to be, be more sustainable. Uh, so, you know, we talk to the kids about, you know, starting a business, selling products, but in 2020 we thought, let's just focus on sustainability in business and um, that's what I'm passionate about. Uh, that in financial literacy. And so we've got a, um, an orga organization called Finders Keepers and basically we collect clothing in the community and we wash it, Busy Bee washes it, and uh, we organize it like a store. We're, we're selling plants so people can keep them in the house because lots of trees and other plants are getting dying and burning down so we want to like help that so we can. For every ton of discarded textiles used again, how many tons of CO2 is prevented from entering the atmosphere?